Welcome back, you found Fritz. Today's video is a comparison between two Fender Jaguar guitars, the 60th anniversary American Ultralux and an original Jaguar from 1964. Before we begin, I'd like to ask that if you enjoy these videos, then please give them a like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. And as always, you can find the links to the products that I discuss in this video in the description below. Thanks a lot and let's get started. First released in 1962, the Jaguar was marketed as Fender's top of the line guitar, placing it above the lower price Stratocaster. It was popular in the surf rock genre, but most rock stars interested in playing Fenders were attracted to the Stratocaster's simplicity over the Jag's idiosyncrasies. It had moderate success here and there over time, but it was discontinued in 1975 until its resurgence in the 90s when it showed up in the hands of Nirvana's Kurt Cobain. Other acts from that era, such as Pavement, Sonic Youth, and the Smashing Pumpkins, used the Jaguar here and there, but it was Cobain who solidified it as a desirable alternative gem. Since then, Fender has released quite a few adaptations of the model. Which brings us to the topic of today's video. Here we have a 2022 60th anniversary American Ultralux Jaguar, which I picked up from the Manchester Music Mill in Manchester, New Hampshire. And next to it is an original 1964. The 64 Jaguar, while having some minor differences to the 62, is still pre-CBS, which is the most important aspect to consider when comparing these two models. Halfway through 1965, Leo Fender sold the business to CBS, and many production processes changed at that time. The 64 has been in my possession my entire life, and over the years I've done some work on it to make it more durable and playable in a modern sense. This includes the Mustang-style bridge. The bridge in the original Jaguar had irritating saddles that are well known for their issues of sometimes popping the strings out of place and the design creating a ringing sound from the sympathetic vibration behind the bridge. However, the Mustang bridge has its own issues, and eventually I plan on replacing it with a mastery bridge. These bridges claim to fix the common problems associated with the offset Fender guitars. You can check out their website if you're interested, but I have a couple of friends who have bought this bridge already, and it really does work. I've also added a Wizzo buzz stop roller, which helps with the string tension and, well, the buzz and the rattle that the Jag is also known for. This is a non-invasive add-on, which is why I tried it, because any permanent modification would drastically reduce the price of this guitar. It actually works great, but if I get the mastery bridge, then it probably won't be needed any longer. Aside from those modifications, the guitar is stock, featuring the now famous asymmetrical offset design, alderwood body, a 24-inch short-scale neck with rosewood fretboard, C-shaped profile and 7 and a quarter inch radius, a floating tremolo, as well as a series of switches, knobs, and knob discs which control the different options available for the two single coil pickups. The 64 has all of the wear you'd expect from a guitar this old, which carries with it a certain appeal and wisdom. Like it could sit you down and enthrall you with stories of the past and of how it amassed some of its abrasions and war wounds. Of course, the case is just as old and worn as well, but in a different way, like a dirty old witch. <laughs> Moving on to the 2022 Ultralux, this Jag features an offset Alderwood body and the same cool chrome appointments from the original as well, but that's about where the similarities to the 64 stop. First, the new Jag has a new molded hard shell case, and the 2022 utilizes an adjust o -matic bridge with string through body furls. This unique pairing provides great sustain, enhanced resonance, ultra stable tuning, and alleviates the issues of the original Jaguar, which I mentioned earlier. It also has a less confusing pickup control system than the original Jag, with a three position slider in place of the three switches. The knob discs and switch are replaced by two switches controlling the custom double tap pickups, which replace the original but no less custom sawtooth claw single coils. The Ultralux pickups provide humbucking tones that can be split using the independent slider switches to activate the double tap technology, allowing for single coil sounds as well. The total possible tone selections via the switches and sliders is 12, 
which doubles the six available on the original design. But of course, that doesn't mean much in a real world setting. I'll test out a couple of these settings in a moment. The neck of the Ultralux is very different from the 64, featuring a traditional full length 25 and a half inches in favor of the short scale 24 inches of the original Jaguar. It has shed the C-shaped profile in favor of an augmented D neck shape. This modern neck design is cloaked in a chic ebony fretboard and affixed with stainless steel frets. Now here's just a couple of examples of the tones you can get from each guitar. I'll provide a clean example on the neck pickup and one fuzzed out example using an electro harmonics big muff on the bridge pickup. Both examples are in a single coil configuration on the Ultralux to make it more comparable to the 1964. I could go on all day about the differences between these two guitars. Honestly, when compared to a model from the 60s, the Ultralux is a Jaguar in name only. It's arguably about as innovative as you can get from a Fender without experimenting with building materials outside of wood. Its presence is commanding, robust, yet expresses tasteful refinement. The 64, on the other hand, will have you smiling ear to ear with the imagined nostalgia of a smoke-filled backstage at a transitory arena concert settled within a landscape of green fields and tall trees. In fact, while making this video, it reignited my desire to follow through with some of the repairs and improvements that I've wanted to make on this instrument for a long time now. So, which is the better guitar? Well, saying one guitar is better over another is a completely subjective thing. The Ultralux Jaguar definitely addresses all of the issues that I engage with on the original one. However, it's also a complete redesign in everything except for the formation of the body. It's really not the same guitar at all, but it is a great guitar nonetheless. They play completely differently. However, what both guitars have in common with each other is that they both conjure inspiration just by looking at them. And I will not be parting with either of them anytime soon. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today, and if you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe for more stuff. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.